Okay, welcome to the second video on surface area and volume. We're going to be looking at section 1.4, actually just half of it. We're going to look at the surface area of right pyramids. There's a second video from 1.4 on the surface area of right cones. Okay, so what is a right pyramid? Well, this is an example of a right pyramid. Okay, it, ha it stands straight up. It has a base, okay, a base over here. And the base can be, well, it can be a rectangle, it can be a hexagon, it can be a triangle, it can be whatever it wants to be, I suppose. And there's a real particular important concept here that we have to highlight. A pyramid has a height from the center of the base to the apex at the top. It also has a slant height, which is a longer distance, if you were to walk up the side of the pyramid. And the slant height and the height form a right triangle with this third line, which is actually half of the distance along the base, okay, which goes from the center of the base to the outside of the pyramid. Okay, so here's a question for us. Find the surface area of a right square pyramid with a base of 5 inches by 5 inches and a slant height of 8 inches. Now, I should take a moment. A right square pyramid means that the base is a square. So we have 5 inches by 5 inches and our slant height, not the height, but the slant height. That's the distance here along the edge is 8 inches. Okay, great. Uh, so, the base area is going to be nice and straightforward. That's just 5 by 5. And 5 times 5 is, of course, 25 square inches. Okay, that's our base area. What about the lateral area? That's the area in the air. Well, actually, the lateral area is four triangles, right? Each triangle, if I draw it like this, has a base of five. And this triangle face, well, that's our slant height of the pyramid is eight inches. To find the area of each triangle, well, that's just the base times the height divided by two. That's five times eight divided by two, which gives me 20 inches squared. So each of the four triangle faces is 20 square inches. We can now answer the question. The total area is my base area, 25 inches squared, plus my lateral area, which is four 20 inch squared faces. And if we add all that up, we get 105 inches squared. Next one's going to be a bit of a challenge here. We're going to look at a right rectangular pyramid with a base of 10 feet by 8 feet and a height of 16 feet. So this time we have a base of 10 feet by 8 feet and our height that's down the middle is 16 feet. Ooh. Okay. That means we don't know our slant height. Okay. But we can find our slant height. Remember earlier on we noticed that the slant height, I can draw properly, and the height itself connect together in a right triangle. So we can find the slant height of this side here with a base of 8 by taking this right triangle and doing something old school. We're going to go all Pythagorean on it. This right triangle has got a side length of 5, a height of 16, and a slant height that's unknown. So we'll do 5 squared plus 16 squared equals our slant height squared. Or slant height is equal to the square root of 5 squared plus 16 squared. And I've calculated that to be 16.76 feet. All right. 
That's the slant height on this side. We can use that slant height now to calculate the area of this triangle. So the area of the blue triangle is going to be base 8 times height 16.76 divided by 2. And that gives us an area for the blue triangle of 67.05 square feet. Okay, great. What about the red triangle, though, that I'm going to draw here? This will have a different slant height, and it will have a different area as a result of that. I'm going to put it out as a challenge to you right now. Pause the video and make an attempt at finding the area of that red triangle. Good luck. Okay, welcome back. Okay, we're going to try and do this together. Uh, I have a slant height here along the front, and that can connect together to the center and form another right triangle. Okay. This side of the right triangle is a length of 4. The height of this triangle is 16. And we're looking for the slant height of this side. If you calculated it successfully, you should have gotten that the slant height of the red triangle is 16.49 feet. Once you have that, the area of the red triangle is 65.97 square feet. Okay? From this point on, it's actually really going to be quite quick to answer this question. We have two triangles that are 65.97 square feet. We have two other triangles which are 67.05 square feet. And we have a base. The base is 8 by 10. So the base area is 80 square feet. If we add all the total area together, that is we take two of these blue triangles, two of these red triangles, and our base, and we add it all together, we get, drum roll please, a total of 346.04 square feet. Okay. There's a great example in your textbook in section 1.4, which lays out exactly this kind of problem. Take a look there if you're still having trouble, or ask a teacher. Okay, uh, here's a formulaic version of dealing with these problems, but this is not for all right rectangular pyramids. Unfortunately, it's only going to work for all right square pyramids, or all pyramids where the base sides are all equal. So where your base sides are all exactly the same. We would call that base a regular base. Okay? So where every side is the same length. Okay. If you did that, well, the surface area can be found quite easily.